They are the forgotten victims of a brutal practice in Pakistan that affects more than 100 people, mainly women, every year. 23-year-old Rizwana had acid thrown on her after refusing to marry someone. It was the same story for 24-year-old Kanwal. She's a beautiful woman, was a beautiful woman, working as a beautician, came out of the beauty parlour and in the evening the chap proposed, she refused. So touched by what he saw when he travelled to his home country last year, Mr Shamalak is going back to Pakistan to help the women he met. It's absolutely devastating. They have suffered horrific injuries. It ruins their life. They are absolutely devastated. They, they, they are not, not accepted socially. They are not accepted in jobs. In fact, Pakistan is the third most dangerous place for acid attacks. Many go unreported, most unpunished. Me hurting you, Caroline? No. This is Mr Shamalak's day job. We filmed with him a couple of months back, pioneering his eyelash transplants. It's this same operation and eyebrow transplants that he'll be performing in Pakistan, giving his services for free. It's humanity. Why these people should suffer of their, of their known fault? And of course, it's my payback time as well. I, I originated from Pakistan and, and there is no help from the government at all. The t type of treatment I perform, not very many people in Pakistan do. So I'm going there to use my expertise and help them out. For Asim, it is a journey of hope. For his patients, it is far, far more. These patients have travelled a long distance. They have come even from a remote area. They may have to even travel on a donkey cart to come and see there's a hope. They, they came with a hope in their eyes and I've, I'm, I'm going there to, to help them out, to, to give them that hope back. And for these victims, hope is simply priceless. Mel Barham, ITV News, Manchester.